It's been a little while since we checked in on broadband from space. Starlink has been in the news recently, and as we keep our eyes on connection competition and global politics, we should probably explain why. What has Starlink been up to? And whether your internet comes from space or a cable in the ground, we hope you'll keep up with all the happenings here on reviews.org. Hit those subscribe options underneath this video. Follow us on the social media. Check out our home site. We've got some great articles and videos coming your way. We've got a trio of new stories on Starlink for you this week, which showcase the ups and downs of satellite-based broadband. Earlier this month, Starlink sent 49 satellites into orbit, but due to more extreme conditions than predicted from a geomagnetic storm, about 40 of those satellites re-entered the atmosphere. It's a nice way of saying they fell out of the sky. Starlink satellites fly at an extremely low orbit and will be sensitive to those kinds of conditions. This event also highlights the current state of space weather prediction. Getting a burst of solar activity can make conditions here near Earth difficult to anticipate. Following that recent re-entry event, Starlink conducted another mission last week, which not only put an additional 50 satellites into orbit, but also demonstrated the fourth landing for the Falcon 9 rocket used to send those satellites up. Another nice bit of progress for reusing these rockets for low Earth orbit missions. We're climbing to around 2,000 satellites in orbit as Starlink builds towards their initial approval for a constellation of 12,000. And from news in space to news on the ground. While the world watches events unfold in Ukraine, data stability is definitely a concern as infrastructure is attacked. Ukraine's vice prime minister put out a plea on Twitter aimed directly at Elon Musk asking for assistance in telecommunication service. Musk replied that Starlink would support the country and promised to send more terminals to use the service. It's a fascinating example of the impact social media plays in global politics, and it also represents an interesting field test for the Starlink service. Build as a solution for areas that struggle to get stable broadband from more traditional means, we'll be able to see how the service handles an area facing significant disruption to traditional landline services. We'll also get to test the overall flexibility of this constellation flipping the switch to light up the area. February has been a busy month for Starlink and SpaceX. We'll be keeping an eye on how this satellite grid grows. And of course, we'd like to hear from you. Are any of you using Starlink service? Do you have any experiences to share? Drop us some of them tasty comments down below with your thoughts. And make sure to check out the reviews.org home site with more news on broadband, plans, services, and ways for you to save some cash on your bills. As always, thanks so much for watching, for sharing these videos, subscribing to the channel for reviews.org. I'm Juan Carlos Bagnell, AKA Some Gadget Guy, and I will catch you all on the next video.